Hello, we're going to begin with some good news for once tonight. It's being hailed as the beginning of the end in the search for an effective treatment for Alzheimer's. Scientists have developed a new drug called lecanemab, which has been shown to slow down progression of the disease. Here are some of the details for you tonight. There are more than 1,700 participants in this trial, which lasted 18 months, and they found that the drug slowed the progression of Alzheimer's by 27% compared to patients who took the placebo. But the drug hasn't yet been approved for use here in the UK, so a rollout is still a while away. Emily Wither has the details. This is a story of hope and the dogged determination of scientists who've spent decades searching for ways to prevent Alzheimer's. David has the disease and has been taking part in a groundbreaking trial. He's been taking a drug that for the first time has shown it can slow the decline in memory. If it works eventually it would be brilliant you know because at the moment i'm reasonably okay you know i'm not like i was but i'm still not too bad when you first receive that diagnosis it's a fairly traumatic thing for any anyone and also that was about five years ago and at that stage we understood there was nothing that could be done there are 90,000 people like David in the UK with dementia. By 2050, it'll rise to 1.6 million. Alzheimer's is the most common type. For 30 years, Professor John Hardy has searched for a treatment. He was one of the lead researchers who suggested targeting the sticky gunge called amyloid that builds up on the brain. I think there'll be renewed enthusiasm for other treatments. The drug companies and the researchers know what they need to do now. Now they've seen a success, they know what needs to be done, and that makes the next trials easier, the next drugs easier. So I think we'll see improvements on this over the next three years. The trial showed the drug works in the early stages of the disease, so early diagnosis is key. For some, there were also side effects, so patients would need to be closely monitored. If this drug is to come through, it will need a change in the way people are diagnosed, and we'll have to make sure they're diagnosed earlier, and we have to be really sure that they have Alzheimer's disease for this treatment to work. So we are asking the NHS to work with us to ensure that the system is ready to do that. The drug called lecanemab is not a cure, but even slowing the progression of Alzheimer's allows people to spend more time together. Um, we're not naive. We do know that this is going to get worse, even though David's been really lucky to get that drug. Um, it's not going to stop the inevitable. Um, so we are just hoping that we're extending our normal life as long as possible. In a few months, David and Cheryl will celebrate their golden wedding anniversary. Emily Wither, 5 News.